Give me some money, give me some more Students face money problems, what for? Let me help you, let us help you Welcome to Money Talks Hi everyone, welcome to Money Talks Holiday Edition I'm your host, Miss Rufo It's the most wonderful time of the year, right? Well, it depends for Magazine says that the average family spends $1,700 on the holidays. Most financial consultants would suggest that if you make an income of $50,000, you should spend no more than $800 on the holidays. Remember, the average family spends $1,700. If you invested that extra $900 a year instead of spending it for the next 18 years at an interest rate of 7% compounded annually, at the end of the 18-year term, you would have saved $30,599. And you know what that is, people? That's a nice two-seater convertible for you, the parents. Or if you want to be practical, maybe money towards your child's college tuition. But haven't we spent enough money on them? Anyways, this edition is about the holidays and what teens are spending on parents on friends, on siblings, and ironically, they're still spending money on themselves. So joining me today for this holiday edition, please welcome Paige Basteri, Mia Barletta, and Garrett Hodgkins. Welcome everybody for joining me on this great holiday edition. Happy holidays to all of you. So let's get at it. Um, I, I'm just gonna ask the question to whoever wants to jump on at, on at it first. How much money do you plan on spending this holiday season? If any. Maybe about $100 or so. $100? Yeah. OK. That's what I spent last year, but this year we're not doing gifts because we're going on a family vacation. So Nice. Where are you, where are you, where are you headed? Can you, can Florida. You, Florida. It's always nice and sunny, yes. right? Good for you. I spent like around $100 last year on gifts. So $100 last year on gifts. Probably going to be the same. Nice. Ironically, uh, about 47% of teens will spend $100 on more this holiday season. So you fall right into that um, average category. Now, who do you plan on buying for this holiday season? I'm gonna, Mia's going to be sunning herself in Florida, <laughs> so I think the question I'll ask Paige and Garrett who they plan on spending money on this holiday season. Um, I plan on spending most of the money on my mom or my brothers just because they're my family, so I feel like I want to get them gifts, and they're probably a higher, um, I, I want to get them better quality gifts than like gifts from my friends, which mm -hmm. is like small stuff. Okay. Um, I'm spending on my family, mom, dad, sister, and then my mom's friend comes, so I get her something too. That's nice. Mm -hmm. That's very nice. Um, everybody loves receiving gifts during the holiday season. I'm more of a gift giver uh, myself, like A's in class. But um, what is the best gift you ever received um, during the holiday season? Anybody? Uh, mine was probably a laptop I got a few years ago because I know like, I use that every day in school and for homework, and it's just really helpful. Mm -hmm. Mine was the same. It's a laptop and just stuff that I still use now, even though I got it a couple of Christmases ago, and like other stuff like like phones or other things I use every day. I would also say laptop. You don't really realize how useful it is until like you have one. Right. Well, here, here are the top gifts for teens this year, and I want you to you know, kind of critique these along the way. Um, biggest gift this year is the Apple Watch Series 4, which retail values at $399. That's the base value of the watch. How do you feel about that? Any, any of you have an Apple Watch now? And, what do you think about a gift like the watch? I don't have one, and um, I don't think I necessarily need one, but I know a lot of other people who have them and like them a lot. Mm -hmm. I don't have one, and I don't really want one. I don't see much use for myself for it, but I'm sure it could be nice to have. Yeah, I probably wouldn't get one. I don't even have like a regular watch. So. <coughs> it's good to get a watch, though. Mm -hmm. Phone has a time on it, too. Phone so. has a time on it, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, second most popular gift are Apple AirPods. 
Now, I've been seeing a lot of this in class lately, this, this, and I'm thinking, do kids have earaches? Do they have headaches? No! They have these Apple AirPods in their ears for $159. How about that gift? Are they accurate uh, gift-wise on this list? I don't think it's worth that much money. We can just have a pair of headphones that have a wire. I don't see what's so great about them. Mm -hmm. Why should they should be so expensive? Well, they look like the ones with the wires, too, and those don't stay in my ear, so like I wouldn't get them anyways. Nice. Yeah, I have the same problem. I feel like I lose them in a day. Mm -hmm. So they're out. Yeah. Okay. Next, um, this one's for all you Potter heads out there. Hogsworth cooking set includes a cookie cutter, dish towel, spatula, water bottle for a whopping $95.96. Think about that. It should come with a chef for $96. Are we anybody into the Harry Potter? series on this panel? No, okay. no, no. Sarah, Harry Potter has, uh, has grossed $8.5 billion. It's the third highest ranking film. Anybody know what the number one film is? Or series? Star Wars. Star Wars is two at 8.9. And I see this is a bad one. Marvel, the Marvel series is number one. They clump all that together, 15 billion. So people love the Harry Potter. Um, Polaroid, one step. I type camera, it's old school t camera, Insta camera, take a picture and the film spurts out there. Now you can connect it to your Bluetooth and that's going for 150 bucks. A lot of technology. Okay. Into it, Garrett? Yeah. No. Well, now these phones have like portrait mode and stuff, so like, why even buy like an actual camera now? Right. This, I have something for you, Garrett. Garrett, they have the flexible phone holder from Dormify. You attach this thing to your phone, and you can attach that thing to anything, the ceiling, the walls, floors, chairs, just what we need, more <laughs> places to put our phones. What do you think, Garrett? I don't even know like a situation in which I would use that <laughs> at, at all. No. I'm thinking you could attach it to the hockey helmet and skate around, but... Uh -oh. I mean, but we have other products for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so we have parent gift or, or parent gifts. That's a, that's a big thing for the holiday season. I mean, parents and guardians, I think they deserve, um, you know, a healthy gift. And according to Retail Me Not, on average, uh, people spend a hundred and five dollars on their parents. One oh five. In this year, the top gifts for parents, an engraved necklace, an Insta-worthy family photo. So you can use your phone and your swiggly thing you attach the phone to, take an Insta-worthy, friendly picture, and a mini fridge. I mean, I've, I would love to get that mini fridge. Um, and this was on a, a list. Um, your warmth and love, apparently a parent uh, they're one of their top gifts is your warmth and love. How do you feel about those parent gifts? Do you, do you have any anything on the on that list that you would be worthy enough to give your parent a guardian? I feel like the warmth and love one is um, a little bit sad. <laughs> I feel like you should give your family warmth and love the whole year. That's and nice. It's you should try a little bit better to give your parents a gift that is meaningful. Mm -hmm. I definitely pulled that one when I didn't have any money to buy gifts for them. Sure. Yeah, now I should probably get an engraved necklace or something. Sure. <laughs> well, so I go to like Walgreens on like December 24th and I grab like a few gift cards right. like for my parents, you know, like Bass Pro Shop or Lowe's. There's money on the gift cards. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, obviously. <laughs> yeah. obviously. I don't know what they want. I know where they go, but I don't know what they get there. So. Right. That's good. Yeah. I still give my parents uh, warmth and love. Um, you know, maybe I can step up and give them a grill. That was on the list too. I'm not really sure. I don't really understand the mini fridge one. Yeah. Because mm. if you already have fridge. a regular fridge. Right. Maybe they want a fridge in their bedroom, like the kids <laughs> in the dorm room. Maybe it's a regression back to the dorm days. I don't know. Maybe. Um, one more uh, question that's 
around the holidays. Are there any particular traditions other than exchanging gifts that your family participates in around the holiday time? My family, we all go to the same house every year for Christmas. We all go to my cousin's house and we all kind of do traditions there. Like, we don't really get gifts for everyone in the family because it's there's too many people, but we get gifts for like the little or kids and like the older people of my family for a lot. For us on New Year's, we all go to um, my cousin's house and on Thanksgiving we draw gifts, uh, draw names in a hat to see which family is buying which gifts for which kid. And then we open those on Christmas Eve and then with my family um, on Christmas Day we just watch Christmas movies all day. That's nice. Yeah, we, uh, we watch like a Christmas story on Christmas and then usually like right around that time like I'll go play like old men's league with my dad for hockey. Nice. You, they bring you in for help or? No. Old men's league. It's like pickup, so it doesn't count. But. Nice. Um, another survey says that your parents are going to spend on average $103 on you this holiday season. I think that's a lot of money. I think it's a lot of money. I mean, $303? Um, but I mean, just think if you save that money, you know, maybe you should tell your parents, hey, you know, let's take that $303. We don't need gifts to share and put it away and see what happens. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it for the uh, holiday edition of Money Talks. Um, from everyone here at Money Talks, happy holidays, happy new year, uh, and let's hope for a lottery win in 2019. Thank you. <laughs>